I'm going to show you an introductory project. This is, a, this is a very simple woodworking project where you're going to use hand tools to produce something called a half lap joint. A half lap joint is just where one piece of wood laps over top of the other and you cut both pieces so that they sit flat and their surfaces will sit flush. The reason we're doing this is just to introduce you to some hand tools to get, to get you used to some measuring and also um, to show you how much, like you, how much you have to be concerned about the quality of your pieces because when you make something in here, to take care of the wood, take care of your project, make sure that it's not getting knocked around and be accurate with your cutting and so on. So these, are, these are a couple of samples that students have done in the past um, where they've taken the idea of a half lap joint where one piece sits over top of the other and they've created some designs of their own. And this is the kind of thing that you can do. You can keep it simple or you can get complex like this. What I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you just something very simple where two pieces lap over top of each other. But you can see, even in something as this complex, it's the same joint. One piece of wood has lapped over top of the other and then this stu student has cut some design. To get started, all you're going to do is get some graph paper and a pencil and you're just going to sketch what you're going to do and just show me your idea before you do it because um, I just don't want you to jump ahead and make any mistakes. Okay, I'm going to use a sharpie, you're going to use a pencil. So you're just going to show me, uh, you just, this, this is all I'm going to cut, okay, a piece of wood like that and another piece of wood like this, okay. Very, very simple. So that's all I'm making. But if you're going to get more complex, if you're going to do a letter or, or a different type of shape, then I want, to see, I want to see a sketch of it on graph paper before you do it. It's important so that we can discuss any of the details. All right, that's the drawing done, nice and simple. The first thing you'll do is take your pieces and just, you know, hold the pieces how you want them to go. Um, a couple of tips, I would avoid knots. You see the knot in the wood here and the knot in the wood here. I would avoid difficult to saw through those. So keep, keep, keep the part of the, like use the part of the wood that is free of knots and easy to cut. And just hold the pieces up however they're going, if they're going on an angle or whatever. In this case these, these are just, these two pieces are just going like this. And so I want to make sure that I'm halfway down the piece of wood. So I'll take a tape measure, I'll measure the board. It's 11 inches, 11 divided by 2 is five and a half. So I'll make a mark at five and a half. And then I want to measure these boards. All right, there's seven and eight, seven eighths of an inch. And so I'll mark half, half of seven eighths. This, th this line that I already made is the center mark. So let me square that across. That's the center mark on the board, which means this distance is the same as that. And I'll put a little C here to mark the center. Now this is going here like this, so I have to mark halfway on either side. And you can try the math, you know, where you can divide by two and you can measure halfway. But what I really encourage students to do, especially when working with small pieces, is just use the force, okay? There's halfway. And how did I find that? I just guessed it. But it looks halfway and I bet if I measure it, it is halfway. Now I can take this butt it into my center mark and mark one half and mark the other. Okay, now I have the edges. So, I'm going to mark one edge like that. I'm only marking one edge because I'm just going to cut one edge and I'll mark the other one after I have that first cut. Okay, so I'm almost ready to cut here. What I have to do now is I have to measure or mark how deep I'm going. And you're going to use a, th this tool here. This is called a marking gauge. And if you notice, the marking gauge has a sharp pin, so just be careful. And it also has this wing nut here, which you can loosen, and you can slide this up and down, okay? So what are we going to do with this? We're going to set the depth, and we're actually using that sharp pin to cut the wood at the depth we want. So here's the piece of wood. We're going to be using a handsaw and cutting down, and we want to mark the depth. So I'm going to flip that on its edge, and I want to go halfway down on this wood. And again, you can measure this and you can divide by two or you can use the force. And I'm just going to do that and, and make that mark. You notice how I did that. You see what I just did? To make a straight line on a piece of wood, to make a straight line like that, 
all I did was I take my fingers and I ride my middle finger along the edge of the board while I'm holding the pencil. So there's the there's my the finger riding the board. I put the pencil in place, and all of a sudden, you have yourself a nice straight line, reasonably straight. Okay. Anyway, back to this. So there's my mark. Take the mark and gauge, and loosen this, and you're going to stick the pin. You're going to stick the pin right on that pencil mark. Okay. You can, if you want, you can pull this back, and you can just take the pin, and you can stick it right on that pencil mark and then slide in the rest of the marking gauge and tighten it down. It's a little bit tricky, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. But I'll tighten that, okay, like that, and then check it from the other direction, spin the wood around, and make sure that I'm almost done. And then I'll try it again. So now I have the marking gauge adjusted, and I'm ready to mark the depth. To use this, I want you to get a piece of scrap wood first. So here's a piece of scrap wood and I want you to practice because this takes a little bit of getting used to. Notice how I'm holding the thing. Okay, so my thumb is in the same direction as the pin and my fingers are holding it like this. And you just come on, on, the, on the wood like this. how I did that. I'm holding it like this and I just start to cut the wood very lightly at first and then deeper and deeper and deeper like so okay and then when you get that when you get about that deep then you're done okay so I practice now I'm gonna do the real thing so where's my board here's my board with the center line now I'm gonna take this flip this on its edge and I'm going to cut and don't worry about where you start and where you stop okay just get a nice line so I go lightly at first and a little bit deeper a little bit deeper and so on Flip it over, and, you, and I do the same thing from the other side. Cut light, and then deeper, deeper, and deeper, like that. Okay? So now, I have center line marked, one edge, and I have the depth on both edges marked. Okay, now I'm ready to, to make my first cut. To make the first cut, work on one of these drawing boards on the table. You can work in the vise if you like, but... I find it sometimes easier just to use a clamp, clamp it to the table, and then everything is sticking up here where you can see it. Now you're gonna use a saw, okay? This is called a back saw, which you've used before, and I just wanna remind you, it's called a back saw because it has a back on it. I usually hold it like this with my index finger pointing out to give you a little bit more control. And when you cut, you always cut, you start your cut by drawing the blade toward yourself, okay? And I take my left thumb, and I put my left thumb, uh, my th left thumbnail where I want it to start, and you're not gonna cut your thumb, you, you don't want your thumb under there, obviously, but you want, you want to ride the edge of the saw along your thumbnail like that, okay? So it kinda looks like this. The thumbnail just controls where the blade is. So I pull it back, pull it back, back and now you're ready to go on that side and do the same thing over here one two and I'm good to go okay. now I'm just cutting down to the line and that's it I cut down to the marking gauge line on both sides and then now that that first piece is cut I'm now ready to mark the other side so I'm going to hold this up. You see I've got one side cut. I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to eye, I'm going to look straight down at the thing and make a mark on the other side. And when you make a mark on the other side, you notice I only made a tiny mark. I did not draw right across the wood because I cannot try that to be square unless I actually use a square, which is this tool. Now I know that line is 90. And now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to cut just on the inside of that line. Okay, remember the basics of cutting. You see the first cut, I left my pencil mark showing, and I cut on the inside, on, on, the, cent, on the C side of the line. Same thing with this cut. I'm going to cut on the inside of the line and leave that pencil mark showing. Pull back. All right, and that is it. Now, 
all I have to do is I have to do a series of cuts in between those two initial saw cuts and we'll get rid of the middle. So, like that. You don't have to, you don't have to be nice and square with these cuts, just cut down to your marking gauge line. Okay, and that's it.